In this project, we use Spring Security and all of our web service endpoints are protected and require user authentication unless we specifically make a certain web service endpoint public. So when user forgot their password and they are trying to reset it, they obviously cannot authenticate with our API and the request for password reset should be a public web service endpoint. And before we can run this application and debug our password reset request functionality, we will need to make this web service endpoint public. And to do that, I will go to my Spring Security package. And there I have Web Security class. And here we have configure method where we have already made the sign up URL public and we have already configured the verification email URL also as public. So what I will do, I will simply copy the couple of lines of code here that we used to configure email verification web service endpoint to be public. And I'll paste it here to do the same for my password reset request HTTP request. And that is going to be HTTP post because in our user controller, we have created this method to handle HTTP post request. This is why I need to update this method here. And the verification email URL will need to be updated also to a password reset request. So I'll copy and paste this line. I'll remove verification email and I will add password reset request URL. And the value must match the web service endpoint here. So we are configuring the path as password reset request. So I'll copy this and we'll go back to security constants and I will replace this email verification with the correct web service endpoint name, password reset request. Okay, and now I will copy the password reset request URL and go to web security and replace this one uh, to be a password reset request. Okay, so now this should uh, configure our password reset request URL to be public and we can try running this application and send request and debug it. Let's do that. 